She's back. Hey, it's Steve Brown with Entertainment City, and today, Canadian pop singer Victoria Duffield returns. She tells us how she plans to make her comeback. Wow. Let's get right to it. New album's coming out, day one. Yes, day one. Six weeks is all it took you to put this complete work together. Well, <laughs> Six weeks for these particular ten songs. I have been working on my third album for three and a half years, so this has been a long time coming. And it took that time to form my story. And let's step back to your story and go to 2011. Mm -hmm. Shut up and dance. You were young then. I was, I was 16. You know, that song was a monster for radio in Canada. How much pressure did you feel to follow that up? Having Shut Up and Dance pop like it did, I was so excited and honored. I always felt like the more was coming, so I always knew there was still things that I wanted to fix and improve on, so whatever was coming next was gonna be different anyways. Also because I was 16, like you know you're gonna evolve as a person and change. I know I Just come in here and break the door. Oh. That's so real. Guys, make sure you get a piece of this yeah. cheese. Oh, it's oh, just oh. Now on to game night, which is having fun with the thriller genre. Oh, uh, you missed it. <laughs> Terry Hart found out from the stars what their own game night personas look like. How serious is your um, game night situation in your life? I'm not super competitive. I'm, I'm there for making fun of people who start to lose. We're both incredibly com competitive. competitive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a good loser, but I'm a lousy winner. Like you like to boast when you win? Yeah, yeah, I've been told that before. Like in your face? Yeah, I'm used to losing, but when I win, <laughs> oh man. This will be a game night to remember. Oh boy. Mm. I don't need to win, personally. I don't need to win because I'm, I'm always winning. So I, I want to lose every once in a while to kind of feel normal. Do you get it? How much do you want to win? I want to win this interview. If that let's just say, let's just say we're going to beat Black Panther. Woo! Let's go! Yeah, I hate to burst their bubble, but Black Panther is expected to continue dominating the box office for the next several weeks. Game Night is projected to pull in 15 to 20 million dollars for its opening weekend, though. Not bad at all. For Entertainment City, I'm Devo Brown.